Anyway, we've got the times now, and remember the row over the pupil identifying as a cat? The school is denying that it happened. Are they just identifying as telling the truth, Josh? Well, this is a story that has just taken up my personal life all week, arguing online about it, because someone was like, this is, people have been saying, this is a fake news, this didn't happen, even though there is this three-minute tape out there of these two girls um, having a debate with this teacher, and the teacher uh, says that they're despicable because they're just saying that there are only boys and girls existed. The yeah. teacher says that there are three sexes, uh, and the teacher also sort of implies that they might be expelled or says, you know, we're going to, I'm a right report, you should go to a different school, and your, your parents are wrong because for teaching you this yeah. kind of stuff. Anyway, so... And the, if, if, I'm, if I remember correctly, the teacher also mentions the pupil identifying as a cat, which... Well, would... it, this is... This is it's become this whole thing of, like, this the cat, and people on the far left are using this, whether this cat thing will happen, to sort of dismiss all the stuff I just talked about, which is arguably more important. Yeah. So um, I listened to that tape, and, yes, the, the, the girls bring it up, the teacher doesn't deny it and says, you're, upset, you're upsetting her and whatever, and then the mum came forward of one of these girls and said that it, there was a cat, and, and these people on the far left go, this is just a fake thing, because what happened in America, I believe, was there was a story about someone identifying as a cat and the school giving them a litter tray, and this has proven yeah. to be false, fake news, whatever. And so a lot of people who are very much trying to sell this whole gender ideology thing and now animal and ideology were sort of really being pushed, it's going, look at this, this is the right-wing press, this is all lies and whatever. Mm. What has since happened is that now the college has come out and said, no, there is nobody who is identifying as a cat. Of course, now the college is being investigated now um, by Ofsted, and this is partly part of what the story is about. Um, Kemi Badenoch has got involved. Now, the question is, is it in the school's interest to say that there isn't anybody there identifying as a cat? What we do know is that there are other, and there have been a bunch of different pieces in other newspapers, of people genuinely identifying as different animals, various yeah. different things, and people are saying, this is all lies, this is all like everything's fake. Yeah. And it's, it's not. It's like, not. There's lots, lots and lots of reports. I mean, on TikTok. Uh, Nick, and just type uh, this uh, Nick, there was, there's been uh, a child identifying as a horse and uh, being taken out for, for a canter by the yeah. teachers. I mean, it sounds bizarre. Another child identifying as the moon. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, uh, you can't identify as celestial bodies. Well, yeah, and Catherine Burblesing here points out she knew of a school where someone identified as a gay male hologram. <laughs> I, I, I'm not quite sure what that means. But, yeah, so the, 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 as Josh says, the cat thing is a little bit of a red herring anyway. I think just before They're the video... identifying as red herring? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just before the video, I think they do reference a girl who, who thinks she's a cat, but then in the video, it sounded to me like they used cow as an example, the girl just throws that out as an example. But I'm less interested in that part. When you hear what well, the teacher's saying, you're bigoted, basically, you know, you're, 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 it's very sad that your parents think that, that you think that you should go to another school. Yeah. And, you, and you, you can tell that's indicative of things that are going on across the country, which everyone has suspected and, and now seems to be true. Yeah. And so that's far more important. Everyone's getting hung up on whether she identified as a, a cat or not. The question is, is this kind of ideology being pushed on students in a kind of authoritarian, intolerant way by teachers? Yes, that's what, that's what yeah, that proves. That, that is definitively proven by these states. But, but people do want to seem to focus on the cat. I went in and was like challenging the people saying it did happen, and then, then it turns out now the school, so now the question for me is, am I just some idiot? <laughs> <laughs> I may well be. And I, I, to be honest, I'm, I'm still... Um, you know, it could well be that in this case there wasn't a cat. I am somewhat open to it, but it really irks me that I'm yeah. wrong. But it, but it doesn't, but it doesn't, <laughs> mater it doesn't materially it, change no, any no, of it. Yeah. And you know, like, people online go, that's, what, that's where they go, well, I wasn't ever really talking about the cat. What I really want to talk about is this. Yeah. And I could see, of course, that it was this deflection technique, but for me it was just like everything was being thrown out. And I was like, well, for me it was obvious. Was, and just because you see it in so many other places. But yeah. whatever, more to come. We'll find out what's going to happen. Well, yeah, and staying with the theme of gender ideology being forced on children in schools, the Telegraph has uh, uh, saying there are only two genders. It used to be an easy point in a bi biology exam, but now it's a hate crime, Nick. Yeah, so teenagers tell Education Secretary they are too frightened to say there are only two genders. And this is, has gone to Gillian Keegan. And it was an open letter from two 14-year-old girls who are incredibly advanced. Fake news! So I that real. genuinely scared me because I was sort of half asleep. Um, anyway, these girls have said there's a growing atmosphere of fear around this topic and many students, including us, are frightened to speak out openly due to the threat of ostracisation and bullying from students who adopt the author authoritarian dogma of gender ideology. I mean, that's impressive. At 14, we were just giving each other dead arms and calling people gay. I mean, it's a completely <laughs> different world. And so it's very impressive these children have come out with this, these 14-year-olds, and they're very mature. But... 
it's it just shows. Did you it, say forty. Forty. You doing, when you were doing forty. No, we. Oh, uh, okay, so. Yeah, I'm still doing it, but. <laughs> But it's it, it, we we would have mocked this at school. What's incredible is that the way this sort of authoritarian stuff seems to have taken hold in schools, we would yeah. have mocked anything like this. But it seems like this is uh, the, the common thing, and these are the outliers who have to stand up for themselves. And it probably comes down to how sensible their parents are, I'm guessing. But I'm thinking it's also a lot of... It's particularly um, popular amongst girls. It's the social contagion element of it. Yeah. So that's where it's really taken hold, where you do have people being ostracised. I'm sure that boys are still as immature as we always oh, were. Oh, good. And it's yeah. just like... Ugh. Although I was really heartened and reassured that the, the two pupils in the, in the, in the, uh, that were getting oh, yeah. berated by the teacher for, for not uh, like allowing a pupil or not recognising a pupil as a cat, uh, they were really... They knew their stuff. They, knew the, they actually knew the intricacies of the ideology yeah. better than yeah. the teacher and were arguing back a lot smarter yes. than she was. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. If that's, if that's absolutely. And that's case. where the fight back has to come. Interesting, at my school yesterday, I got an email, this is the primary school, saying, oh, we've got this organisation coming in to, to talk about, because uh, it's Pride Month or whatever, and I asked my kids afterwards, and I was like, what did you learn? And they're like, oh, there's, like, a hundred different sexes. I was like, ah! <laughs> emailed the school. Yeah, you were like, <laughs> you mean <laughs> genders? Yeah. You were furious. No, <laughs> <laughs> and it's also interesting that, uh, in the, in, with the two, two pupils who refused to, you know, sort of recognise the cat, uh, the, the teacher said, well, this is, this is equality, diversity and inclusion, so you've got to, you've got to move to a different school. And like, That's, <laughs> how is that inclusive? Yes. How is it inclusive to expel pupils because they won't recognise somebody as a the, cat? Their buzzwords always mean the opposite. Absolutely. Yeah.